Hi everyone, in my previous video I have created an app in the Azure portal. So our first step is complete. Now in the second step we are going to configure those client IDs and the application IDs which we copied from the Azure portal into the ServiceNow instance. So to configure that I am going to navigate to application manifest and I need to specify those IDs over here. Come on, come on. So I'm going to move this to draft state again so that I am able to edit the client IDs and tenant IDs. And this is the client ID which I want to use now. I'm going to paste it over here. And this is the tenant ID which I want to use. So I'm going to copy and paste that again this is the name which will appear on the tab uh, in which my service portal will be displayed and if i want to change the name of the app i can change it over here for now i'm going to stick to everything out of the box if i want to upload an image i can uncheck this and there will be an option to upload the image uh, for example if you want a logo which corresponds to your organization logo something like that so let's stick to out of the box for now and i'm going to move it to ready state and now i can download the manifest from here so this manifest i need to upload in the microsoft teams admin portal but before that i need to also disable the now virtual agent app so first also let us verify and the application registry whether the client IDs and tenant IDs are already updated over there. Application registry and I'm going to look for service now for Microsoft Teams app. So this is the place where my client ID should be present and let me copy and replace the one already present over here. Then first let me save this record. Now let me open this record as well where I need to replace my tenant ID and this is my tenant ID so this part is also complete let me click on update now so whatever I needed to do in the service now instance is complete now. I'm going to move to my Teams admin portal. Here it is and I need to search for now virtual agent app first. Here it is and it is already enabled. I'm going to move it to block state first. and then i will upload a new app which is this one I think it is already uploaded. See, the app is already present here. So it's now for Teams app. And if I want to update this app in the near future, I can simply click on update and update the app from here. And now I'm going to move to my Microsoft Teams login. And I'm going to search for service now for Teams app.
Let's click on add. So it displays the same content as my now virtual agent app, which was already there. And I can see a tab named your hub, which should be displaying an out of the box service portal. So let me click on your hub now. Finally, it started loading. If I click on continue, I should be getting an error. Yes, it says invalid source. So if you remember towards the end of my previous video, I told you that there is an error in the configuration for the Azure portal app we did. So we need to do certain modifications for that. If any one of you was able to figure it out, then it's well and good. If not, then I'm going to show it to you next. So let me click on cross button over here and I'm going to navigate back to my Azure portal under expose an API. I mentioned the client ID over here for my service now auth app which is not correct it should be the client ids for my teams app so let me delete this existing configuration so this is successfully deleted if i go to service now docs sorry if i go to microsoft docs then it is clearly mentioned the ids which are supposed to be used is first is this one for teams mobile application or desktop application and i'm going to add a client application authorized scopes and application and the second one is this one for web applications again add a Client Okay, so both the IDs have been added now and before I open the service portal the out-of-the-box available service portal the name is EESP which is provided by service now uh, to every customer free of cost if they want to use that portal in Microsoft Teams if not everyone can use their default portal we just need to change a system property for that but let's see how it appears in the browser the portal which service now has given to us i am going to duplicate the tab and i'm going to open the eesp portal Oh my god, service now is having too many issues for out of the box portal. Probably uh, these are the errors which I'm getting only as part of my PDI instance, but not too sure about that. Let me click on cross for now. Anyways, these errors have nothing to do with whatever we have configured. These are just something else, some plugin not working fine some widget not loading in pda instance but it works fine in the custom instances for sure so we can track your request from here you can visit the employee portal and a couple of other things now let me just navigate back to my microsoft teams and try to re reload the your hub tab if it works fine now it should load the eesp portal which i have just shown you in the browser tab loading mm -hmm. 
does it feel like some news is good news or uh, okay some either with respect to the out of the box portal so you can see here that i am able to access the service portal which is out of the box created by service no team and given as part of this feature which is available in the virtual agent app and we also call it a service now for microsoft teams app so if you don't want to use this out of the box available portal you can also customize a, a property where you can mention the name of your custom portal which your organization is using for multiple other purposes and we'll see that in a minute where we can configure that so let me go back to the instance and here are my system properties so there should be one with a value of EESP so this is a system property in ServiceNow for Microsoft Teams application so if you want to use your default portal which is maybe SP or some other custom portal used in your organization so this is the place where you need to modify the value and the similar service portal will appear in the Microsoft Teams as well instead of the out of the box EESP portal so this is pretty much it about enabling service portal in Microsoft Teams thank you for watching stay safe and take care and don't forget to subscribe